extra account security was an issue for me because you needed a phone. So I asked for a way to do this without a phone. Got the usual hate from the official forum bullies, but in the end they meant nothing. So here it is, very simple. On your launcher click the register PC icon. This will take your machine's ID and send you a verification email to the email you registered the game with. Once you enter the verification code, bingo. That PC is registered. Once you have one or more PCs registered, not only do you get a drop buff, but no one can log on with a PC that is not registered to your account, that's important, cause that includes you. You will not be able to use your friend's PC when staying over, you will not be able to use a second PC unless you register it. But we all have to make sacrifices for a bit more security, I was originally worried about verification and I could see PA making it mandatory or half mandatory in the future, so they can tackle hackers better. It required a phone and I was not happy about this. I made this clear way ahead of any issues, and here we are, all is good, but the hate I saw for asking, for pointing out we don't all have phones for different reasons, that was a shame to see from some parts of the community. Did you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone. You know the sort, losers in game and go on the forum to look for victims to bully, such haters on the forums would have had me be quiet, and not bring up this issue, why? Cause they wanna hate someone to feel better about their sorry lives and they don't care as they damage the game or the community. So, call them out and look out for the snoods. I'm working for you, the haters are not, PA wanted to hear the feedback, it was the haters that tried to bully me off the forums, and it's not just me they do this too. What scum, we know who they are. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. The haters are standing in your way, don't give up. Don't back down, they mean nothing in the end, proven and fact. So it's not always PA letting you down, it's the low IQ, lower quality community members, of who, a lot do not even play the game, but boy. Do they have a lot to say about the game, or what other players wish to say. Fake feedback and disruptive to BDO. Stomp this out. Kick it out of the community, big thanks to PA for taking on board what was said and showing you do think about the differently abled and them that don't have all the mainstream tools, oh, a note to you the player. If you secure your account in this way, you will need to re-register your computer each time you change hardware, be it a GPU or a CPU. My advice would be, before you make an upgrade, maybe sent in a ticket asking for information and advice on what to do next, letting the staff know there is going to be a hardware change. Oh, um, maybe I have the haters wrong. Maybe they just don't want people securing their account for some reason. Either way, we don't need that trash in BDO, keep an eye on who is standing in your way. Something very wrong with them. PA do listen. Just takes time and effort, and a huge fight against the haters, this is why your support means so much. We can make change, but it's a lot of effort. Please don't give up before you have even tried, don't assume you can't make change, this is not the first change we have made, and as you know, not all my work is gameplay related. Even though this is not a shy issue, it's still very important. Give things some time. Change can happen, and if you don't want to put in the effort, cause it's just a game. Don't piss on my efforts. Let me do what I gotta do. Don't make me have to fight with you, or convince you of my methods, while also working towards change. I keep showing you change is happening, just doesn't happen in an instant, been here near a year now, from wake up to sleep fighting for changes and never giving up. Not in my nature. 